Hi everyone, I'm Penny Robinson from the ICANN Network and I'm the all-round ICANN Guru. I've created this short video to tell my story about how I got to where I am today at work. I'm unable to make the Mary Mead information evening because of work commitments. One thing that I think is important is just knowing other people with Asperger's so you know that you're not alone. When I was diagnosed at the age of 14 and a half, I didn't have that. The ICANN schools program will mean that other students coming through schools today will. Now I'll tell you about how I have got to where I am today in work. My story starts as a young child. I had very poor speech. My mum tells the story of one day when I wanted pizza for dinner, but I couldn't say the word pizza clearly enough for her to know what I wanted. That was until I made enough hand, hand gestures imitating the pizza guy in the shop throwing dough up, catching it on a tray and rolling it out. Then mum knew I wanted pizza. My three-year-old kinder teacher suggested to mum that I see a speech therapist. So I had speech therapy in three and four-year-old kinder. I also had to go back to the speech therapist when I was in grades four to six and year eight. I finally learned how to say the R sound when I was in grade 5 and I was very proud of myself when that happened. Although I was self-conscious of needing speech therapy when I was at school, especially in high school. Now, I still have a lisp but I can be understood and that's all that matters. I started having panic attacks in the assembly hall at school in year 12. This photo is before my year 12 formal. My first panic attack was the last Monday in August, the 28th of August. The school counsellor told me what was happening. She put a name to what was happening, which was useful. And she also organised rest breaks in the exams should I need it. Having had panic attacks in the assembly hall at school, I was worried about having panic attacks in lecture theatres at uni because the environment was very similar, big auditorium in both. So one coping strategy I put in place was to tell people at uni, even people i just met about the panic attacks because that meant I could tap someone on the shoulder and they'd let me get out of the theatre if I needed to. I started uni sitting on the end of the row or only with a couple of people in. So this was in 2002 when I was in first. Now, in or from August 2011 onwards, I'm an assistant lecturer at Monash University and this is now my view of the lecture theatre. There's a lot more laptops than when I was at uni. I give lectures to medical and biomedical students about statistics. This photo was taken in S7 which was the lecture theatre I was in when I had to make my one emergency exit in first year. Like everyone, I get nervous before I start a lecture, but after I've got through those first few slides, introducing myself and setting the mood and motivating the students of why they have to listen to stats for an hour, even though they're medical students, after I've got through those first few slides, I'm no longer nervous and I'm happy to just talk. 
here are my contact details if you want to contact me. I've got email and Twitter. I've also included the various contact details for the ICANN network, including social media, and some tiny URL links for Google Forms that you might be interested in. The hoodie order form is open until this Friday the 27th of June.